Oh, oh, and they turn into attacks. Hi, it's Shane here, and I'm here to have another mindful look at another bad guy at Elden Ring. Uh, today we're going to do Renala. So as we go in, this is going to be a bit of an odd one, because obviously Renala's a bit of a different... She's almost like a novelty boss fight to start with. Um, but I'm going to still try and kind of do this as mindful as I can. Start in the gloomy library, which needs a bit of lighting. And we've got all the little wrens. I don't know what they're actually called, but they are creepy. They also help light up the floor, so that's quite useful. I thought that one had a knife then, but I think it's a quill. Hush, and there's Renata. The little Culver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Okay, so generally the purpose of this fight is to avoid those books and basically find out who is... Oh, don't get bit by the Renalas. Find out who is singing, who has this halo here. And kind of take them out and that damages Renalas' bubble. And then you go into the actual fight with Renala. I do not remember so much of the stuff actually just falling down before. So what I will do is I'll take a bit of a look. So obviously it's hard with the books being flung at you. But you can see. Got a choker there. It's hard to tell whether there's no use of legs or if they just don't have legs. And you can see the bubble expanding out from when she sings. And so her effect is keeping Renala in this bubble here bright gold one. As you can see some of them breathe fire. I think it's the ones with candles breathe fire. Okay, so fight. Take care out. As you can see now the bubble has more cracks in it. You can see the sort of oh, the way the flames move because they hit. So you can see it kind of speckles of it glistening out. Uh, speckles in the way I'm looking for, some type of magic dust. So if we get rid of this one. Oop! Walk straight into that. So you can see she's more cracked than she was before. And then she will fall down to the floor. She doesn't really move in this state, she's very prone. You see the see the kind of crown she's got on her head and she's going to come back up so before she explodes and you can see she's kind of hanging there still I think she's sacrificing those to make the bubbles bigger again I'm not really sure how that works see the lights kind of changing in they turn into wards they look a bit like gravestones. Um, yeah. Oh! Oh! And they turn into attacks. Right, okay, the big gravestones that she hits you with. So let's make our way back over. We've got some little wrens falling from the ceiling. That one's on. There's something in there. see the shards fall what looked like dust before are definitely different now we've got bigger um, that was a limitation I'm not singing can't 
do anything in one hit at the moment. And you can see, oh, there's a book. That's a pretty telltale sign. There we go. And then Renana should fall. There she goes. Sound of the shattering. Two. You can see the standout red lines on her robe and the creases that look very silken compared to a lot of the other clothes that you see in Elden Ring. Very pale skin, almost porcelain like. <gasps> My beloved. Also has no use of her legs. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Is it the embroidery on her? Ye will be countless born. Forever and ever. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. This rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Granala of the full moon. And look at the reflection of the moon in that water. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Everything looks slightly wet or damp. But I know the floor in this bit is obviously all... Because that's going to do that. You can see... There's certainly a lot of extra kind of colours and things about it. out, need to be careful of that one. You can see the two red ends of the recorder scarf. Okay, I got myself killed there. They're kind of around as part of her robe, so they'll be going around her neck, almost like a kind of priestess, except for obviously she's a scholar. Um... And here we are back in phase two. Ooh. So I'll bring out the peach. Oh, she can do something again. Move, move, move. It's close. Okay. She's turned into a moon. Does a lot of damage. Have a look at the end of the um, the end of the stat. It seems to change shape depending on what kind of magic she's casting. I really need to keep going on. Right. So when it's crystalline magic, it's a big crystal at the end. Oh, I got confusing. I thought that was teach. Again, you're going to see the sigils and things as she casts magic. The, um, you know, see the red flames from Teach there. Okay, I got the fire dragon. Oh, I missed! I believe I missed. Very pointy hat and kind of curve, like a new moon to be fair, which I think is her whole shtick. And you can see the moon never gets any closer. But you 
you can run into it. And that's the end of kind of looking at Renata. So she's, like I say, a bit of a novelty boss, different steps and things. You can still look at her. She doesn't actually die the same as the others do. So you can see the way the light kind of reflects. I said it was kind of silken before, but it almost looks thicker than that. Like it's very, very woven. It's almost like wearing curtains. Um, that has a massive hood, which I can only assume has no benefit apart from to take on her giant hat inside it. Really detailed embroidery. I wonder if that's because they knew it was a character model that was kind of sticking around. Yeah. So that's a look at Renala holding Rani, who may or may not be important later on. You can see all the books piled high in the library. That's kind of cool. So that's it for this week. If you like this kind of stuff, um, give us a like and subscribe it's really useful if you want to suggest any bosses or anything we do with this next just give us a drop uh, comment in the comment section below um, yeah and we'll see you again soon bye